Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAdmission.com and today in this video we will be talking about WASP Top 10 The Most Critical Web Application Security Risks So this is the first important place that you need to be talking about while you talk about web application security So we have been talking about the security testing a bit but while we talk about the web application security WASP stands the first place where you need to refer like what are the most critical web application security risks already available in the market Well if you have never heard about WASP WASP stands for Open Web Application Security Project is an online community that provides freely available articles and methodologies and documentations and tools and technologies in the field of web application security. So you can just go to the wasp.org something like this and here you can actually see there are so many details available and there are so many conferences going on where you can see all the details of the cyber security especially in the web application side. So if you go to the projects over here and you can see there is something called as WASP top 10 and this is the thing that we are going to be discussing today in this particular video. Well this top 10 security flaws are released like every three to four years. You can see that the last one was released in 2021 and the one before was in 2017. So it's not exactly like three year span but still it's like three to four years as I told you. Well the WASP not only releases the web application security risk for web application they also do for the APIs as well. So if you just go back and you can see there is one called as WASP API security top 10 2023 has been released in July 3 2023. So if you go to this particular link you will see there are most important security issues related to APIs also being shown over here. So I will be talking about this later point of time in this particular series but now we are going to be focusing especially on the web application security. So what are the top 10 web application securities that are available and what are the most important thing that we need to understand before we do the web application security testing. So as you can see over here the first and the foremost security issue that we always get is the broken access control. So this is the first critical issue that we can see because the access control is the foundation of security but it is often poorly implemented. Some of the most important scenarios are these. As you can see over here, the application may be using a unverified data in the SQL call that is accessing account information, something like this, where the attacker can simply change the ACCT parameter and then once they send whatever they wanted to, like whatever account number they wanted to, they can gain access to the user account. And there is another way that the attacker can gain access to some of the URL that you have not been exposed or maybe you're thinking that it is not been exposed is something like this as you can see over here where we are trying to get the admin information by just passing the URL with a random page or maybe the correct page if the attacker gains access to this particular page, this is also an issue. I mean, it is going to show you an unauthenticated user access for the particular page, but still it is a flaw because if a non-admin user can access to this particular page, then they can start thinking of how they can get into the page and access the whole details there. Well, as that said, the next security risk that we are going to be talking about is going to be the insecure cryptographic storage. So this is another most important place where we are going to be seeing a lot of different encryption failures is happening. For example, as you can see, an application encrypts the credit card numbers in a database using automatic database encryption. However, this data is automatically decrypted when retrieved, allowing a SQL injection flaw to retrieve the credit card number in clear text. So this could be a potential issue as well. And that's the reason why we actually need to ensure that every time while we try to decrypt the information, it is also transported in a more secure fashion instead of just like a clear text or plain text like this. So this is another important critical vulnerability which happens to have in the OWASP top 10 security risk and this is standing in top 2 in this whole OWASP security risk. The third most important security risk is going to be the injection. We might have heard this injection quite a lot like SQL injection or the CSS injection something like that and this is the place where injection takes a most important priority because SQL injection is a type of injection which is going to be injecting a malicious SQL code in the entry field to access the sensitive information and this is going to look something like this and you might have seen so many different information in the internet already but if not the simple most easiest SQL injection is going to look something like this where you're going to be injecting a SQL statement in the payload and you can gain access to some of the customer ID if there is going to be a table with this particular matching accounts. I mean you can do quite a lot of different way that you can do the SQL injection using an automated fashion as well 
which is going to expose the vulnerability if your application has that vulnerability and other injection as we're talking about is going to be the xss injection or the cross-site scripting injection which, which is especially going to happen if your website is going to accept some of the css or the html file passed in the comment or any of the section of your web page and it's going to expose some of the security vulnerability of your application so this is called as the cross-site scripting and this is another vulnerability as well that you can see within the injection category the next security issue that we're going to be talking about in the top 10 is going to be the security misconfiguration so security misconfiguration can happen whenever a server setting is not properly configured i mean this is not only just on the server side it could be anything even physical settings of your machine or your server can also expose this unauthorized access of the server or the machine and this is the security misconfiguration itself and some of the examples are these as you can see that the application server comes with a sample application not removed from production server and these sample applications have known security flaw which attackers uses to compromise the server and the next scenario could be that the directory listing is not disabled on the server and the attacker discovers they can simply list all the directories and once they get all the directory listing they could do whatever they want and the third scenario is like the application server configurations allows a detailed error message for example stack trace uh, and this could potentially expose some sensitive information as well and that's the reason why you should not be putting some sensitive information while the application emits any error so these are the places where the security misconfiguration plays a critical role for the security risk of your application the fifth point is going to be the vulnerability and outdated component and as it names it is really really important that we always keep updating our components of our application and as you can see over here in this particular scenario the components typically run with a same privilege as the application itself so the flaws in any component can also result result in the serious impact such flaws can be accidental or intentional uh, and these are going to be exposing quite a lot of vulnerability within your application so make sure that you always keep an up-to-date information and you might have heard uh, quite a lot of open source softwares get exposed or vulnerability for example the recent log4j error which also made every single company to update their application to upgrade to the latest version of log4j if not they are going to be exposed to the vulnerability and security breach and that is what it is so you need to have and up-to-date information or up-to-date software updates if not any outdated component can also be a potential security flaw for our application the next security risk of our web application is going to be the broken authentication and session management so try to secure your login process by using multi-factor authentication strong passwords and session timeout to prevent unauthorized access and protect sensitive data and there are more scenarios as well for example credential stuffing the use of list of known passwords is a common attack because there are many different softwares available where you can just run through with all the different fuzz of a particular username and password combination and you can easily get into that particular website if your passwords are easily guessable so it's highly highly important and recommended that you always use the strong password and we might have seen this coming quite a lot in every single application while we create even an account these days but yes this is another security risk of our web application as well and few more application security issues are like logging and security monitoring which is also very very important for example if you're not really monitoring your application then you'll be also getting issues something like this as you can see over here a major indian airline had a data breach involved more than 10 years worth of personal data of millions of passengers including passport and credit card data and the data breach occurred at the third party cloud hosting provider who notified the airline of the breach after some time so you can see that the indian airline got breached by the cloud hosting provider because they didn't really actually monitor actively like what's happening and they only came to know after days after the breach really happened so this is another reason why the monitoring is super important at least you'll know that there is some breach really happening behind the scene in your application and the last one is going to be the insufficient transport and data protection so always ensure that you encrypt the sensitive information in transit like https and ensure proper ssl and tls certification configuration to protect against eavesdropping and tampering and there is another scenario as well like port scan of the internal server so if the internal architecture is unsegmented then attackers can map out internal networks and determine if the ports are open or closed on the internal server from the connection results or elapsed time 
to connect or reject the SSR of payroll connection. So these are the things which are going to be quite important while you try to create your network and internal server information because attackers will try to keep pinging our network from many different places and it is very very important that we always try to not open the unused port or close the unused port whenever it is possible because those are critical and security vulnerable as well so these are the top 10 ozap security risk of our web applications as you can see over here and these security risks keep changing each and every year and you can see that they are got quite a lot of detailed information available over here related to all the discussion that we just did and you can see that they also have got some of the cwe or the common weakness enumeration details like how it is being mapped and what is the max incidence rate and the average incidence rate and how much this is happening so you can see that at least for the server side request forgery it is much much lesser but if you just go back to the broken access control over here it is 55.97 percentage which is quite higher and the max coverage is around 94.55 so that's the reason why this is in the top one of the whole ozap list and so it is very very important that every time while we do security or penetration testing we always refer the ozap top 10 to understand what are the common vulnerabilities and how we can really avoid these issues before we even try to understand or identify some of the new issues because these are super common already. So once again, thank you so much for watching this video and hope you have got the idea of how OZAP Top 10 is going to be very, very helpful for web application security testing and understanding the security risk of our application. Thank you.